we go. That's better. I have a microphone now. Hello. Okay, so as I was saying, yesterday, I was playing this game off stream, and I was a little high, and I forgot what I was doing. But apparently I got radiation poisoning, so I got to find a doctor. My me my medicine skill's really low, and I forgot that that impacts how much, like, Rataway right works, and Rataway right did nothing. It did nothing. I should just go warp to a doctor. Where's uh, Julie? Julie's a doctor. Let's go see Julie, Rex. This guy's a doctor, but he won't fucking help me. This is this. What's up? Nothing. Nothing. It could be better. If we can find a way to work toward the independence of New Vegas, that would be ideal. That would really, be ideal. As long as you don't help out the Legion, anything's better than that. Will he try to kill you if you help out the Legion? That's my question. I'm not going to find out because I'm not helping the Legion. Mm -mm. I'm just going to zoom up to doctor at somewhere, wherever, New Vegas Medical Clinic. I have not discovered this location yet. That doesn't sound right. I guess I haven't. I don't know. Ah, hi, Arcade. All right, I'm lost. Friendly or foe? Looks friendly. Not attacking me. That's a prospect or merchant. Hey. hey there. Need anything? Hey there. I'd like to Sir, see your wares. Here's what I got. He has 37 caps. This guy's useless. I can't. This guy's useless to me. I guess he's out here to make money, not spend money. Who are these people? Our guys put the monorail back to work. Oh, you were watching a VOD from two minutes ago? That's weird. Uh do I need to restart my computer? Is my internet being bad? The stream quality seems fine. I'm a little nervous. Hello. Hey there. Hi, Cam Addict. Nice to meet you. What on earth is that creature? What creature? Our guys put the monorail back to work. Oh, is she talking about Rex? That's a rude way to talk Hello. about Rex. Where's the fucking clinic? Oh, I see. Here we go. Someone cure my radiation poisoning. Shut up, Rex. Nobody has a hat, Rex. Chill. Except for me, I have a hat. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. Ooh, this is where you get implants. Okay. I'm suffering from radiation poisoning. It'll be easy enough to purge all rads from your system. How much is the caps? I would like to know how much I'm spending on it. Okay, whatever. All right. This will only take a few minutes. It doesn't... <laughs> how much did I just spend on that? Oh, okay, a hundred. A hundred bottle caps. That's fine. I did, I have not stolen any caps. I've I've earned them by selling stolen goods to merchants. Uh, what kind of implants I do you have, have available? I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities. Make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. 
I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. I want luck. One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? Can you make me luckier? If I implant the probability calculator in your frontal lobe, you'll be able to calculate odds a little better. Is that really it's luck? It's not quite the same as Four making you luckier, thousand. but you'll be able to nudge things your way more often. I can do the implant for 4,000 caps. I don't have the caps That's right all now. Right. <laughs> Where? Take care. Where? Give me. Can I have 4,000 caps? Can I have this magazine? Okay. 4,000 caps? Forget about it, man. I'm never gonna have 4,000 caps. It's insane. All right, let's go down here. I wanted to travel the road up north on Novak. I have to not get shot by Boone though. I don't think he's gonna shoot me, but if he does, it'll be funny. <laughs> Just gonna hit the quick save button there. Don't shoot me, Boone. I'm sorry. It really was her, I swear. All right, and also when I was playing yesterday off stream, I finally uh, remembered how the compass pips work. And so now I know how to find locations. Yay. Oh, I'm no random and innocent civilian. I'm on Boone's shit list. Boone doesn't like to be a murderer. He's very upset about it. So let's go see what's over here, because there's something. Maybe it's 4,000 caps worth of something. Maybe we'll get lucky. What are you saying back there, Arcade? Whatever. Fuck, there's something there, but it's moving. Oh, it's a Kazadar. Well, luckily I have companions and I don't have to do anything now. Alright, is this worth money? That's pretty good money. Oh, it's a wind farm. We can we can get some wind. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Ah, a book. We love to read, folks. Recon armor. That's, uh, that's pretty valuable. I'll take that. That'll go a ways towards that luck implant. How much are sensor modules worth? Oh, not much. There's not much here. Some wind. Is 
some more young Cazadors. I think I just shot at Rex. I'm glad that's over. I did just shoot Rex. I'm sorry, Rex. You'll be fine. I gotta go sell this armor. Don't die again, Rex. I feel the same way as Arcade. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Glad that's over, bro. I wonder if old lady Gibson has more caps again. I just sold her a bunch of shit, but maybe she has more. Let's hope so. I think she's this way. Maybe. Oh, further this way. Glad that's over. I'm just gonna do that now, too. Why is the music being so creepy? I'm not French just because I have a beret. I just, I'm, I'm wearing my, uh, my knockoff boon hat today. That's what it is. This is also my, my beat hat. I'm being, uh, a, a hip, hep daddy -o today. For 420. It's important to have your hat. Where the fuck is old lady Gibson? Wake up. I like that she keeps it. That's a nice detail that she so keeps a bat back. by her bed. Now, where did we leave off? Where did we leave off? Happy to do it. Yeah, she still has caps. Yay, old lady Gibson. Yay, buy this from me. Give me a shout if you need anything. Take care now. Bye. Well, she used to be younger, and that's why they call her Old Lady Gibson now. I'm not lit yet, but of any luck, and I'll get there. No, I asked her about that, and that's what she told me. <laughs> She's like, well, they used to just call me Gibson. You figure out the rest. And I was like, yeah, yeah, good, good point. Sorry. Who's this? I'm gonna kill that float flight. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, there's more. Ah, those aren't float flies. I don't know what those were, but they're dead now. Oh, they were vipers. I'm really glad I know that that's what the VW is because now I can actually use it to loot things. It's handy. Andy didn't know. <laughs> He's got a lot of drugs on him. These vipers love drugs. It's important to know your Volks Pro Wagon. It's a very important number to have. Handy. Hey, the sun came up. 
All right, what is this place? Poseidon Energy. It's a GS station. Those are some crappy looking beds. Ah, <gasps> sarsaparilla. I don't need 9mm pistols, do I? I'm pretty sure mine's in perfect condition, yeah. I want that bottle cap. How do I, how do I pick up bottle cap? Gumdrops have have a little nuclear logo on them. Are they nuclear gumdrops? Nuke brand gumdrops. Ah, what's happening? I was trying to drink my coffee. <laughs> oh, that's a prospector. Shit! Don't shoot her. I think I missed her, so it's fine. <laughs> it all worked out. Okay, now I can drink my coffee. That'll teach me to try to pick up a drink while a screen is loading. It was safe here a second ago. Boxing tape. What the fuck is boxing tape? Oh, medics, I need that. Alright, I'm just gonna keep following the road and see what's up here. Ants! Am I missing it? Like a holo tape for boxing? Like, is it Hajime no Ippo on tape? A crunchy meat fruit. Hmm. Hmm. The what happened here? Oh, those were fire ants. That seems scary. Is that a bad guy? Doesn't seem bad. Let's go talk to him. He's got a guitar. Play a song for Howdy, me. Howdy, little lady. That's a mighty fine guitar you got oh, there. this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me. Have you been playing long? Just about my whole life. Ever since my daddy left Ma and me and went off to roam the wastes. What's your story, stranger? My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Nevertheless, I'm interested. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much ever since my pa up and left. <laughs> Smart guy. Families just tie you down. No, your father abandoned you? That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Is he the son of the mysterious stranger that shows up in vats? Is that what this is supposed to be? <laughs> Sounds like you miss him. Is that why you're out here wandering around? Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. Hmm. You were better off without him. You became your own man outside of his shadow. I suppose there's that. But a man ought to know his own paw. And a woman oughtn't to have to work herself to an early grave to provide for her family. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my paw and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since. But 
but he ain't an easy man to find. What will you do when you find him? Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Sounds like you should move on. Settle down, anyway. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fellow with a guitar might find a job, huh? Mm, can't say that I do. Sorry. Ah, uh, well, it was worth a shot. All right, I'll have to go find so him long, later. Friend. When I have a place for him to go. Um, if you're a guy and have Lady Killer, you can say, uh, you wouldn't happen to be 17. What does this, what does that mean? I don't understand what that means. Okay, that's not a very good joke. I didn't get it. It's a good thing I'm not a guy with the lady killer perk. Listen, maybe it makes more sense in context, but I did not get that at all. That would not have been my thought. I always think of like the player character as being a younger person. Like, look at how old Kaine is here. She's a nice young lady. A nice grandma's girl. I bought that t-shirt, by the way. I'm waiting for it to get here. Where's things to go to? I walked by something. Guys, I slept on my elbow funny and now it really hurts. That's my story. Don't sleep on your elbow funny. Rangers. G game them. Give them hell. I thought it said game them all. Game them all. Rangers. You can't say joints are piss on 420, McFreeze. People get the wrong idea. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Look how cool this person is. They got shades like me. That's a nice monument you got there. What's it say? On this spot in the year 2277, rangers and soldiers of the New California Republic turned back the forces of Caesar's Legion during the Battle of Hoover Dam. Over 100 men and women gave their lives on Nevada soil to defend local civilians and the principles of the Republic. May this humble stone be an enduring memorial to their valor and sacrifice. You here to pay your respects to? No. What is this memorial? It commemorates the Battle of Hoover Dam. The Rangers lured the best of Caesar's Legion into Boulder City, then blew the whole town up. The NCR still lost a bunch of troops in the fighting, though. My older brother sacrificed himself so they could evacuate some of the wounded. I'm mm, sorry to hear that. Don't worry about it. Where are you normally stationed? Can't be Karen, but I'm on leave at the moment. Heading back to California to see my folks. I'm supposed to join up with a caravan that's heading that way up at the 188. But they're not due to arrive for a while yet. The 188, Bye. you say? The fuck is that? I've heard of that. I know I know I've heard of that. Oh, should we read all these names to honor them? No, we shouldn't. I agree. Bighorn Saloon. Why is there turpentine outside the Bighorn Saloon? What kind of what kind of alcohols are they selling here? Our guys put the monorail back to work. Monorail, monorail, monorail. Everybody's talking no about customer. this monorail. What monorail? Not many people I've not come seen any Boulder monorail. These days. Tell me about Boulder City. Most of the town is rubble, destroyed during the Battle of Hoover Dam. And the only other thing around here is the concrete mixing yard. Uh, what's the concrete used for? The NCR has been constructing bunkers up and down the river. From what I've heard, it's a little late for that. Travelers over at the 188, just up the road, said that the Legion has overrun a couple of towns to the south. It did. I saw one of them. It was very disturbing. Most of the limestone comes from Quarry Junction out west. Death but I claws. hear some death claws overran the quarry. With no work to be had, all the workers around here have wandered off. I'm the only one left in town. Dude, you should move. 
<laughs> you are not in a good place. Come back real soon. I'm the only one in this entire town, and my business is selling things to other people. Hmm, I didn't think about this too much. Well, he's got customers, so I guess I guess he does think about it. I guess it works out fine. Rex, what the hell were you doing? Did you get stuck in the door? <laughs> Rex is like, maybe. Don't don't worry about it. Okay. There's not really much else in Boulder City, it looks like. It looks like they might have exploded it trying to kill Caesar's Legion. Doesn't hurt to have a look around, though. Have a little look-see. Go over here to this post office box. Well, there sure was literally nothing in here. I'm glad I looked. Who's this? We've got a situation with wow. some great cons right now. The brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. What's going on with the great cons? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the great cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Not Ackerman and Gilbert! Oh, uh, these great cons might have something in mind. A platinum chip. I'm not gonna tell him that. That's private. I may be able to negotiate a deal with the great cons. Okay. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack. All right. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Cons. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. Don't worry. I have a very high speech score. Whatever. I understand. Good luck. Well, Arcade, let's go do some diplomacy missions. Alright, so you are an NCR trooper, you are an NCR trooper, you are an NCR trooper. Oh, these are not the guys held hostage, I assume. They could just leave. They're just right by the door. They could just walk out. Hello! Don't shoot me! Fuck Benny. We'll make him pay for stabbing us in the back. Benny? Who is ever could that be? Uh, I know nothing of this. Where's Jessup? Anyone seen Jessup? It's, it's really nice that these great cons are just like letting me wander around their camp here. They're just, they don't have no idea who I am, but they're like, well... You're not NCR, so it's okay. Where's Jessup? I should turn the quest on, then I bet it would show me right where Jessup is. Hey. Uh, I was in here already. Hey! How's, how's it going? Oh. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. Uh, I'm a ghost. They're here to haunt you. Ooh. Okay, no, well, I'm not. I believe you have something in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, about that. Where's the platinum chip? I don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. Damn. All right. Uh, I want some more answers. Yeah? On what? What can you tell me about Benny? He's one of the chairmen, big shots that run the Tops Casino in New Vegas. A friend from the city contacted me with info on a big job. I should have known that the caps were too good to be true, but there was still no way I could pass up the chance. Uh, what do you know about the platinum chip? It's just a big fancy poker chip, as far as I know. Don't know why anyone would make one out of platinum, though. Make it fancier? 
He's a snake, that's why. He owed us the rest of the pay for the job, so maybe he didn't want to pay up. Never mind, let's talk Fine. about something else. How about this NCR situation? What's the negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. Uh, let's see. Free the hostages now, and I'll have the NCR escort you out of their territory. I can't believe I'm doing this. Engraved cigarette All right, lighter. the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. <laughs> That's a little kinky, but okay, if you insist. Yeah, go on. Thank you, Jessup. You're a nice guy. Okay. Let's try not to get Jessup killed now. Glad you were able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Khans, hostages or not. The Great Khans let the hostages go in exchange for their own freedom. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders, can I? If you have any integrity, then you'll honor the deal. You're right. The Great Khans are free to go. The NCR accepts me. How nice. And the Great Khans also accept me. Wow, that was a good victory. I'm friends with everybody except for the Powder Gangers who still hate me. All right, what are we gonna level up now? Let's see, we should put some more points in speech because that's working pretty well for us. Uh, I wanted some more points in medicine too. I'm slowly building that up. Um, bum 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 bum. I don't know. More repair, maybe. Lock pick. Okay. The powder gangers are very easy to piss off. Like, they get mad at you just for helping that guy in Good Springs. They have very short fuses, those powder gangers. Heh heh. Heh heh. Let's go to the 188. Who is it that you meet that's like the Powder Gangers? That's a really stupid name, because they're not wrong. Victor? Fancy meeting you here, friend. Victor! It's good to see you again, Victor. Yep. This is getting mighty embarrassing. People gonna start to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Can I marry Victor? <laughs> How'd you get here? Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. You see what happened in there? Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. W who's he talking about? Did you see Benny come this way? Fancy Pants? No, I ain't seen hiding oh. hair in him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. The spurs are right there on his wheel. See? There, there they are. There they go. God, I love him. His pants are also kind of fancy, aren't they? Scorpion! Oh, Arcade, I got a present for you. Sure. Just don't treat me like a pack brahmin, okay? I'm gonna treat you like a pack brahmin. For new Coca-Colas. Where'd they go? There you go. That's his pay. He gets he gets new Coca-Colas for going with me. Wow, this place. There's nothing in here. This is a fucking shithole. Can I climb? Can I climb this thing? Eh, no. Goodbye, Victor! I don't- is New Vegas even that way? I don't think it is. No, he's going the wrong way. 
<laughs> I have no idea where he's going. What was that music? What's happening? What? What is this music doing? This is the 188 I've heard so Welcome much about. Welcome to the 188 slop and shop. How can I help you? I love to slop and shop. Name's Michelle. My dad and me run this store. His name's Samuel. I take the day shift and he takes nights. We came here about a month ago when Prim went to hell on account of the prison break north of there. Found a bin to call home and set up shop. Why'd you settle in this dump? There's more to the 188 than meets the eye. Troops move back and forth on 93 all the time, and 95 is how NCR folks come and go from Vegas. No shortage of customers, so long as Legion raids south of here don't get worse anyways. Uh, why is this place called the 188? You do know these old roads were numbered, right? I we're see. standing where the 95 and 93 meet, and 95 plus 93 equals 188. Ah, that's basic math. This is just beyond Novak. You were right. Uh, I'd like to see what you have for sale. What do you know about Legion raids? Not much. I hear some folks got killed down by Nelson. Or was it Novak? I don't know. If they come up this way, me and Dad will go someplace else. Have a look. Have a look. Oh, I had a question. I got the I got the silenced uh, pistol that takes the 22 LR. Can you not make 22 LR? Because it wasn't on my workbench. Like, do you only can you only buy it? I don't really want any of this shit. Oh, maybe. Maybe I need, just need a higher repair. Because my repair is not very high, so that's valid. Later. Later. Howdy. Some cons got cornered in the ruins of Boulder City, but the NCR let them. You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come run it. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. Go. Thanks, buddy. How, how far did he chase me for that? No Who? offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down Who? some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Uh, the grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, welcome, then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. <laughs> you live in a hole in the ground? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way, but I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family, whatever they need. So you just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves, but somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? Know what I mean, Jillian? actually, these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway, but that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? Go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Uh... They're usually harmless unless you use advanced technology around them. Yeah, whatever. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Uh... 
I go where I'm needed. I just kind of drift from play. I don't know what the best answer here is. This is a hard question. Um, um, um. Just That's wherever the accurate. wind takes you, huh? I like that. Keeps things interesting. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here. Yeah, she kind of has. Really uh, what's that herself. called? Um, there are places I've never been to that'd be lip, too lip, dangerous lip, lip. for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Hair Help lip. each other out. She kind of has a hair lip. Don't you have a family to feed? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Where are you hoping to go? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I like, you don't even I have to do a quest or pass a check to, to get her as lobby. a companion. See I didn't, how did I not I find her from. earlier? God damn it. I could have just talked to her and she's like, hey, can I come with you? And now I got this jerk arcade with me. Oh, uh, well, you don't look like much. What do you bring to the table? Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Okay, so if you uh, if you break up with a companion and say, hey, I think it's time we part ways, can you pick them up later? Like in Fallout 4, or are they just gone forever? Yeah, you can pick them up later? Okay, okay. I'd like to, but I can't take you Aww, with me right now. You really know how to make a girl feel like a stray cat. But, okay, my offer stands. If we run into each other again. All right, let's ditch. Uh, let's ditch this asshole. For now, we'll we'll, we'll get we'll get him later. I want to see what Veronica's about. What's up? Hey, uh, I gotta hang well, I out with this. Thought my charm could win you over, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. Oh, now I feel sure bad. You want me to go? Uh, yeah. I'll head back to the old Mormon fort. If you need me, just swing by. Oh, you lose their perk? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Whatever. Couldn't get enough of talking to me the first time, huh? I like you, Veronica. Let's go. Good. I'd hoped you'd come around. Shall we? Let's go. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. What? I know, I know. But I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of I don't of want enemies. to travel with her anymore. You're still okay bringing me along? <laughs> as long as you're honest with me from now on. Sure. Just don't ever ask me if your outfit makes you look fat. Wow. Well, okay, I hate Veronica now. On a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? God damn it. Grim is a new sheriff. Traveling with a cop. I got tricked into traveling with a cop over here. I like her. <laughs> I like that. I don't. It's fine that she's Brotherhood of Steel because I like her personally. I like that she's sassy. All right, let's go somewhere else now. What's up here? Oh, it's a tent with some mattresses in it. Very fancy. What do you have for sale? Hey there. Need anything? Sure. Here's what I've got. <laughs> Armor piercing, eh? Hmm. You know what's fucked up is I keep seeing these gourd seeds and thinking like, uh, Sekiro. Like, oh, that'll make my flask better. Wait, this isn't Sekiro. It doesn't work like that here. We'll have to buy six bullets from my guy. I don't want to know the news about her companion quest. No spoilers. No spoiler. I didn't even know there was companion quests, actually, so I'm relieved to know that there is. What's over here?
The shack, shack does not look that deserted. There's some really cool prospectors out front. That one's not very cool. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Don't shoot me. He's paranoid. I feel bad for his friend, honestly, back there, because it's like, this guy's trying to chat with me about the cons in Boulder City, and his friend's like, get out of here! You gotta get out of here! And the guy's still trying to talk to me. A guy that doesn't get to meet anybody because his paranoid friend is always getting in the way. Where is this? Followers Outpost. You know, since I learned how to read the compass and I I know where I'm going now, um... Oh, those are the followers, that's right. I was thinking followers like, Veronica, is this your outpost? Hello. Uh, but since I've been going to, like, every location I see on the compass, a lot of locations are nothing, it turns out. This is exciting. Medicine's running low again. I have no idea how most of these people would survive without us. Medicine's running low again. Well, wow, this was a fun place to go. Thank you. Medicine's running low again. Hey, we're just out here like taking a nice walk around. Why do you gotta lower the mood with your your talk of medicine and people dying? Trying to have fun out here. Who's this guy? Hello, who are you? Glad you're with us. Am I with you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't remember enlisting, but okay. Oh, Lake Las Vegas. Oh, this is the camper you go golfing. It looks like a lake. The lake doesn't have to be big. Well, Sometimes you can have a little lake. Is there any named person in here? Sawbones. <laughs> oh, I can't talk to Doc Sawbones. I need medical supplies. Here's what I got. Pretty sure I ran out of uh, everything again. Oh, I have one doctor's bag, but he doesn't have any. He has stim packs. That's it. I don't want that. Fuck you. Ma'am. Ma'am. Goodbye, Doc Sawbones. What's this big building? Let's go check it out. Howdy. Hello. Guys, I have sad news to report. This edible ain't shit. This looks exactly like the hotel in the other place in the world. Jamestown? The, the super mutant town with Michael Dorn. This is the exact same model. You can't fool me. That man's got a robot. I want a robot. Hello! Do you have any named friends? Anybody? 
patrolling the Bahavi almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. <laughs> patrolling the Bahavi almost oh, makes gosh, you wish for a nuclear winner. Arrow in the knee. I keep running into locations that I feel like probably are involved in some quests that I have not picked up yet. And there might be something that happens in them later, but for now I can just wander through them and be like, yep, yeah, this is boring. Oh my god. Patrolling the Mojave almost oh my god. I have to leave this place. I have to get out of here. No wonder people say that so much. I get it now. I only had to spend five minutes around uh, NCR troopers, and now I get it. What's over here? <laughs> I don't know about this up here. Are those Cazadors? <laughs> well, come on, Veronica. I got time to prove your worth. over here. That's not true. Arcade literally just jumped down on the ledge earlier. Is that the sound of me being poisoned? Like, what is this sound that I'm... Oh, something's happening. Where's... Where's Veronica and Rex? Save me! Oh, not only is it behind a ledge, it's over a fence. They wouldn't figure that out. They couldn't. We're gonna have to go around. I should have thought about that, I guess. I don't know. Companions should just learn how to jump over a freaking it's sandbag fence. It's not high. There's a leak in the pipeline. Veronica so far is not winning my confidence with her uh, inability to help me not die from the Cazador. Well, I didn't die, but it, it was no thanks to her. And it was all thanks to some sarsaparilla. I really think it's funny that sarsaparilla is just my cure-all in this game. Like, if I'm, uh, got some wounds and some bleeding, get some sarsaparilla in me. Like, I'm dying of poison? Ah, I get some sarsaparilla. It'll cure it right up. It's just like the Old West. All right, I had to make sure they were still behind me. What if I ride the pipeline? Wait, this is just gonna take me back over the fucking, uh... Oh, Veronica will not walk on the pipeline either. She's very lost right now. It's hard to be a NPC follower. All right, let's check out this leak now. Oh, you can't interact with it. It's just a a nice flavorful leak.
All right, now there's no ledge. Now they can help me. Is that a Cazador nest? Oh man, are Cazadors like big wasps? I don't like wasps. The other night I was just sitting here watching a movie, and I don't remember if I told this story on stream already or not, but I was just over sitting here watching a movie, and suddenly, like, uh, out of the corner of my eye, and I, like, I slightly heard something just, like, hitting the wall. And so I was like, uh, what the hell was that? And it fell behind- oh, that's Death Paws. I was not expecting Death Paws. I'll have to finish that story later. Okay, I need to run. <laughs> okay, um... I can't take on Death Paws. Not yet. We've learned a valuable lesson. We've learned a valuable lesson. Alright, Veronica, again, that's, uh, over two. So anyway, I was just sitting here. And um, my cat got really interested in it, obviously, because he loves to chase bugs and stuff. So he's like sitting there staring at the side of the desk where the bug fell. And he's like staring and staring. And so I'm like, okay, let me try to see what that is. And sure enough, it was a wasp, if you couldn't tell from where the story started. Uh, and the moral of the story is I screamed and hid from it. No, I was actually going to like probably do that. But, um, but then the cat, like it was crawling out from under the desk and the cat was trying to investigate it. And like... I, I'm terrified of wasps, but I'm more terrified of my cat being stung by a wasp. So I braved up and snatched it with a shoe. But anyway, that's terrifying. I was like midnight. I'm just sitting here at midnight in my room and a wasp flies in. I don't like that. Wasps aren't even nocturnal, dude. Where am I going? Let's go check out up here. Up her. Oh, I never went to Helios 1, did I? Or the Repcon headquarters. Let's go check out the Repcon headquarters. We got there, people. We made it. I want a nice juicy quest to sink my teeth into. Don't worry, if it does, I can just jump out of the way at the last second, all dramatic like. Take a sip from your crusty vault canteen. What was that over there? That's a prospector. Do not shoot prospector. Are you friendly? Are you friendly, Mr. Robot? How may I serve you, mistress? How may I serve you, mistress? He sounds like that. He just sounds like that. That one doesn't even talk. Wow. I like how Veronica just has her hand on her hip the entire time. Back 
Rex, what did you do? Veronica's gonna hate it if I do drugs, isn't she? Because she's a cop. Betcha. Welcome to Repcon headquarters, Rocketeer. Come all this way to see our little facility, have you? I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have, within specified parameters. And if you'd like, I can provide a tour of our museum. I'd like a tour Excellent. of the museum. Excellent. Please be patient. The tour will begin in just a moment. Ready for the Repcon tour, Rocketeers? Yeah. Hello. Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please show your badge or make your way out of the building. But my tour was just starting. I'll be your guide today. God Mahama. damn it. Scientific. <laughs> that sucks. Wow. I guess I'm going to have to find a badge. Get your hand off your hip. It's starting to annoy me. Get my stupid tour later, jerks. Wasn't there another compass pip somewhere around here? Yeah, there. Playground! Let's go swinging! Oh, the swings don't move. This playground sucks. It's all rusted over. City Caravan's Wreckage. Why is Caravan Wreckage a, a location? I guess because there's items there. Not a lot, but a little bit. What is this? What is happening? Okay, that's the NCR trooper. That's the side we want to be on. Howdy. Colonel Shu really knows what he's doing. Oh, if only someone had explained that to old General Wait and See Oliver. We still yeah. haven't gotten Ranger Morales' body back from the fields. Contreras is holding out on me. I know he's got more to sell. Checking in with the base, huh? I guess. Is that what this is? Hey. Who's shooting him? Who are these people? That's an NCR trooper. Oh, the fiends. Okay. Where's the front door to the base? Oh. Can you not get into the base? Fuck the NCR. Joy NCR. I'm gonna have to take your word for that because I've... I've been going a long way around this base, and I can't seem to find an entrance. How do I get in? Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a new- No! I found the door. Hello! Hey, welcome aboard. I'm glad that everyone has just decided that I'm now in the NCR.
He's punching that super mutant right in the nuts. Hey. Hey. Howdy. Hello. Howdy. Oh, hello. You have, you have a name. Howdy. Name Sterling, first recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. You remember everyone who passes through here? Got a good memory for faces, landmarks and such too. Comes with practice, that's all. And a lot of scouting from place to place. Interesting rifle you have there. Lever action, right? I call her the Long Carabine. Didn't always have the scope. I added that myself. Can I have your gun? Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers use bolt action, but Gore Betts reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different, so long as I could hit my targets. Mm, have you always been with the first Used recon? Used to be a ranger, one of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Why'd you leave the Rangers? Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpay. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't gonna be trekking across the waste on any more long scouts either. How'd you manage to escape? Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. Man, this guy's got a fucked up story. How long have you been stationed Going here? Going on six months now, but I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Hmm. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork. But I still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. Goodbye. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. I gotta look at this guy's hands. Let me see your hands. I guess he's got gloves on, so you can't see them being mangled. That guy's got Boone's hat. I'm Lieutenant Gorobetz, first recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Daughtry. Does the NCR usually if offer bounties on people? they've proven hard to kill, yes. Whatever it takes to get the job done, even if it means hiring help from outside the, the military. The Legion might be bad. Tell me about first We're recon. the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though. Like Betsy. Oh, is this where Boone came from? Is that why he's got Boone's hat? What's wrong with Betsy? Cook Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her and ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. What? Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone Game? at first recon to behave that way. Uh, hello? I could discipline her. But I'd rather she get medical help. Yeah, hello? What happened to Sterling? Uncle Sterling was an NCR ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. He wasn't able to be a ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp. So I had him transferred to first recon. I don't want to... Can I just not deal with this quest? Can I just not... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna just ignore this quest. Goodbye. Carry on. Evening. Good luck to Betsy, but I do not want to deal with this game doing a quest on rape trauma. Sorry, New Vegas. That just it was out of nowhere, too. Like, uh, dude, that's so personal to just share that. He doesn't even know me, and he's just telling me this shit. Like, hell off, dude. Hell the heck off.
There's a lot more troops here than we thought. No wonder we couldn't hold Helios one. Hell yeah, it's gambling. Wait, they couldn't hold Helios one? I thought the NCR was still there. Who is that? President Aaron Kimball. Something I can do for you? I I'm see. glad we could finally meet. My sources tell me you've done some good work for us. What brings you to Camp McCarran? Oh, I didn't catch that was Veronica talking. Okay. Yeah, I forgot that the Brotherhood took, uh, or the um, NCR took it from the Brotherhood. I forgot about that. I'm here to provide support. Is there anything I might mm. be a help with? You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The fiends? As in chem fiends. Biggest gang of raiders I've ever seen. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic and completely unpredictable. They set up shop in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions and my men repel them. But every day there's more of them and less of us. I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. Hell of a thing, losing a ranger. You come to depend on them. And they come through for you so often, you forget it can happen. Mm, I'll go to Vault 3 and see if that I can find your ranger. Nest. Oh, I don't if like you hornets. Thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you can get him home, it'd mean a lot. I have run with me. I'll be fine. Too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. But the man you're looking for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw? You found Motor Runner. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. He still had so much dialogue. I don't want to click on any of this shit. Like, I don't really care. But I bet I could make the Legion prisoner talk. I have Lieutenant talk. Boyd on that already, and she's excellent. But I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Any other problems? Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. You seem calm. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. I could look into who's... Mm. I guess I can just do well, everything for you, not? dude. Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements, and it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Goodbye. Bye. That's an interesting quest name. Put a spell on you. Ring a ding ding. Let's uh let's go to Vault 3. I wanna shoot. I wanna do some shooting. Oh, it got so dark. I haven't missed much, much, nothing much, Noodle. I picked up Veronica. Is, is he running around in a corner? And we are gonna go to Vault 3. Maybe I should crouch.
I know this isn't the vault, but I'm checking out this place. We killed him, Veronica. He's dead now. He doesn't even have any loot. God damn it. Oh, wait. Never mind. Got some loot. All right. We're looted up. Let's go. That crazed chematic died already. I wonder if Veronica will drink the Nuka Colas. Arcade? No, that's a fiend. A fiend with arcade's gun. I don't like that. Rex is gonna die. Rex died. Veronica, can you do something, please? Does she not have a gun? Does she only use melee? Well, it's strong at least. Where's Rex? It's okay, boy. It's okay. Wake up, Rex. Rex! Wake up, Rex! <laughs> Rex! Uh... Oh, those are valuable, I think. Oh, not that valuable. Well... Pick it up. Oops. I'm sorry, Rex. <laughs> I didn't know there was a mine there. Are you? Are you okay, Rex? All right, maybe Rex will get up if I walk away. Oh, thank God, Rex. You gotta be more careful, boy. I'm gonna have to swap you out for Eddie. Just cause I, I will feel less bad if Eddie dies than if Rex dies. I'm just gonna stay with Veronica. Rex, you come here too. Got my eyes peeled. Veronica. She's not, she's not helping. Where's Rex? Why doesn't she just have a freaking gun? That would be the smart move. Just 
She's not gonna follow me down here, is she? No, she does. See, they'll jump off ledges. They just won't jump over things. And also, where is Rex? Uh, I'm worried about my dog. There he is. Okay, good. Oh. South Vegas ruins. East entrance. This is not the vault. Whoa, what's happening? Okay, so Veronica can touch somebody, they die, but it, sometimes she has trouble figuring out how to get there. I'm seeing. I'm understanding. No, I know the companions can't permadie. I was just worried about Rex. Why is the floor flickering like that? How was that not in one of the 50 mods I installed? Oh, there's a lot of bad guys here. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. And maybe I made a mistake. I think I just shot Rex. No. I don't where who's even shooting at me? What's happening? I guess we won. Oh, Rex won. Thank you. Thank you, Rex. I should give her a gun. What kind of guns do I have? Will she use ammo or will she not use ammo? These guns are all mine. I don't want to give them away. She can find her own damn gun. They don't need ammo? Okay, well she can have a gun then. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Do you have power armor on under that robe? You're fine. Um, um, um. Here, you can use the repeater. I'll use the service rifle. How's that sound? Does jumping at them with my fists count as ranged? That's a good question that she has. Oh, is it way worse than punch? All right, let's just have her use melee then. Yes, finally. That's what she wants to do anyway. Clearly. Ha 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 ha. What are plasma rifles worth? Not much. Varmint rifle. I actually got rid of my varmint rifle. I got the service rifle instead. And also the varmint rifle uh, kind of sucked. The DPS was like six. in trouble with that. I don't even want those grenades. I'm not really an explosives kind of person. Shot at me. 
Okay, if you're gonna use melee though, you have to go. Sh you have to go punch people. Oh, there's the vault. I can't blame her. And I think it'll be fine when we go inside the vault. It's just outside the. Oof. Oh, that flicker's annoying. Okay. Let's find the vault that I just allegedly found. But where is it? Thank you, Rex. Oh, he took two punches. I wanna go inside the vault. Where's the inside of the vault? Oh, I see. I see, I see! I drink one of those. No power armor, no energy weapons, and they're giving the NCR more trouble than we ever did. Mm. This door is activated elsewhere. God damn it. But where? Oh, okay, thank you. That saved that saved a lot of time for everybody, thank you. Oh yeah, huh. Look, they're right there, there's a little control panel. Okay. What the fuck are you doing here? You've got some kind of fucking death wish, asshole? Uh... Isn't this Vault 3, Home of the Fiends? Final warning, asshole. Get the fuck out of here or we are gonna waste your ass. I'm just gonna kill everybody, okay? Does that sound like a plan? All right, asshole. You just fucked yourself. That's what I always say to my asshole. <laughs> ah, there's a lot of people in here. Save me, Veronica! Save me! I'm fine. Where'd Veronica go? Did she die? No, she's right there. She's fine. She has barely hurt. Okay, I like Veronica. Veronica's good. Veronica took the gore perk. Same also. Okay. That was fewer guys than I thought, honestly. I've already been to Camp Hall. The golf course there was terrible. Let's see what's over here. Left hand rule. SMD. What could that possibly stand for? Let's speculate. Sass my duff. That's what it is. I got it. I suppose that GMD. Is that an S or a G? 
I think it's Ness. Fixing things. I love fixing things. I love Nuka Cola. <gasps> Some more Doritos. We love Doritos, folks. Uh, I... There's a lot of bottle caps in here. <gasps> Pencil. Okay, yeah, left hand roll. Okay, no. We have not finished exploring this first area. Huh. Somebody just did some camps. Did you hear that? Hey! Ow! Ah. Thank you, Veronica. Veronica is very helpful. Brett! <laughs> what is, what's under this? Jermaine? Is that what it says? Not Jermaine. Brett. Brett's the guy. Graffiti rules so much. I love graffiti in video games. Look at this. It's so cute. Oops. Why am I in caution? Who's out there? Oh, there's somebody. Get back here. For Magnum Revolver, a eh? there you are. Save Rex. What's oh, did you just kill everybody, Rex? What a good boy! <laughs> Look how cute he's looking at me. Like, yeah, I killed everybody. I did it. I'm a very strong puppy. What am I doing? Left hand rule. We gotta, we gotta go left. This is big and confusing. This is why we've invented the left hand rule. That looks like it should be a door, but it's not. Hidden path ahead. <laughs> like I give a shit. This is, this is the edgy graffiti room. Okay. Down we go. Bottle oh, caps! Oh, I should drink one of those. I just am, like, constantly filling up my inventory with sarsaparillas and I don't drink enough of them. Big Daddy Billiards! That's not Stimpax. Oh, 
Oh, you gotta read the Big Daddy part. That's important. Big Daddy Billiards. There's all of the pool balls. Baseball gloves. Now, it's a good thing Arcade's not here. He'd make himself sick with all this Nuka Cola. I've not actually seen him drink any Nuka Cola yet, so. But I also only traveled with him for like five minutes. I should take that bad axe. What am I doing? Ghoul and loving it. Probably don't need to sneak. I think everything's dead. One and any other. I guess I'll take that. Maintenance wing locked hard. I can't pick that. Need to find a key. Like I give a shit. dead people that I don't even remember seeing. Thank you, companions. Oh, this is where we came in. Was I in here already? Hey! Apparently not. Thank you, Veronica. I was just too busy, like, being stunned at the person stuck in the table. Cram! That was some fried cram. This place would be like a great find if I was playing hardcore. But it's not great for me now. Like I give a shit. What's down here? That one's also locked hard. Give me a key. I'm going in circles now. I've been down here. I remember the Brett sign. Marduk. Okay, this time we're gonna do the right hand rule. I like to mix it up. I like to keep things fresh. I can hack a terminal. Can I hack a terminal? You have 40, 50 science required. What's happening? Shoot those people, those are hostages. Oh, 
Okay, Veronica has this. I'm gonna go rescue the hostages. Ah, oh, locked hard. Ah. Uh ah. -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe somebody has a key. Can I switch the magnum? Whatever. One of them's already dead. That's fucked up. All right, don't worry, guys. I'll get you out of here. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow, I'll find a way. Don't worry. Uh, it might take a while. How many levels up can you wait? Is there really not a key just sitting around here somewhere? Sorry. If you have anything to say, talk to Rick. I, I can't. Rick won't look at me. Rick. Morning. Good morning. Hi, Rachel. Talk to Rick if you have something you'd like to say. I would love to. Rick, look at me. Fucker. Motherfucker, look at me. Rick. Rick is depressed in his cell. He's like, oh, we're stuck. We're gonna die in here. I don't want to talk to anybody. All right, fine. I'll talk to Rick later. Billy rules. Rick is very busy contemplating his death. No, I'll try him again. Don't worry about it. Rick will eventually figure out how to stand in front of the door. I believe in him. I know I'm looking for a name. I don't know. Oh, is that who has the key, you mean? Okay. I thought you were talking about my bounty. The whole reason I'm here. Okay, no, I think Rick is actually broken. So yeah, I'll just I'll look for the named fiend. <laughs> I mean, I figure if I just wander around anyway, I'll eventually find you what I'm looking for. Uh -oh. I didn't really try. What could possibly go wrong? Wait. No input device recognized. Reconnect keyboard. But it, it is connected. It's- it comes connected. I love me some grimy business wear. Radiation, radiation, that's water. That's why it looks so foggy, it's watery. Oops, sorry Veronica, sorry! There's a named raider. Okay, take me, Veronica. <laughs> You've gained karma, but also your chest is broken. It's okay, I have a lot of stim packs now. I'm just gonna shoot up my whole body. And drink some sarsaparillas. Easy. Over here. Ah, stop. Thank you, Veronica. I love Veronica. I will never slander Veronica again in my life. All right, where'd that named guy go? Blow you to pieces. That was Veronica talking. Okay. Not to me though, right? I, I need better lockpick. And also, what did I do? I want a better repair. Okay, I've got ten more points to assign. What do I want them in? Science. I want them in science so I can hack these fucking terminals. Okay. Oh, we get a perk. Perk, 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 perk. As a purifier of the wasteland, you do 50% damage with melee and unarmed weapons. Okay, don't do those. Enter a mass. I don't really- I've not been using that, so the vats perks don't really do much for me. Your limbs will only receive 50% of the damage thing. I, that I kind of need, because I tend to get my limbs broken a lot. Uh, you do an additional 25% damage to any robot, but even better, sneaking up on a hostile robot undetected and activating it will put it in a permanent shutdown. Oh man, I got some good perks to choose from. 
Oh man. Nerd rage. All right, I'm gonna take that one. All right, where'd that corpse go? Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Oh, keys, lots of keys. Thank you, Daniel. It was this way, right? You're free. Take down this password. It'll get you into the overseer's area upstairs, I think. Thank you, Thanks Rick. Thanks for the help. We'll find our own way out. Good luck, you guys. Don't die. Right hand, right hand, right hand. What's this terminal gotta say? Hello, Billy boy. Compose automated blast message. Oh, the system's offline. Lincoln Davis, the water situation. From Lincoln Davis to all residents, greetings everyone. As you all saw in the message from Vincent, we're going to have to start a rationing water until we can resolve the leaking issues. Unfortunately, we don't currently have the parts required to fix the underlying cause of the leak. At this point, we have no alternative but to seek the parts that we need from outside the vault. To facil facilitate this, I'm proud to announce that Michelle Dalian will be forming a new committee with the goal of creating ties with whatever civilization there may be in the outside world. Michelle and I both have high hopes that we'll have no problem finding the assets we need and hopefully forming some lasting relationships with the outside world. Oh, I'm sure nothing will go wrong with this. Especially, especially given that this vault now belongs to the fiends. Like, I'm sure everything went fine. Uh, from Lincoln Davis to Michelle Dalian. Michelle, thank you again for agreeing to take charge with our external relations. I am sure that you will do represent us. I'm sure that you will do represent us and our interests as well. Let me know if I can be of any assistance. Your endorsement. From George Stalt to Lincoln Davis. Dear Lincoln, thank you for your endorsement at the town hall meeting last night. You are so well respected by the residents that I am sure it will greatly increase my chances of following you to the big chair. Since Michelle started making plans and gathering people for her external association committee, the isolationists have been gathering followers, as you well know. I think having me follow you as overseer will serve to slow their efforts. Thanks again, George. That wasn't very interesting. Rebound. Hello, Michael. Michael has nothing on his terminal. Dino toy! Hello, Nara. Hello, Michael. Hello, Nara. <laughs> Camp Granada. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I want to know what happened to this fucking vault. Someone give me a terminal with info. I think I passed by a door I didn't open up there. Oh, it's the bathroom. No, no terminals in the bathroom. Michelle Dalian, head of external associations committee. No info. Nothing. A lot of chems in this place. It's weird. I want them. I'm gonna piss Veronica off. Wait a minute. 
Don't worry, they're dead. They had they OD'd. They OD'd with fixer right in the room. That's really sad. They could have been fixered. My lore is being destroyed by these fiends knocking terminals over. Oh, that's that room. My lore, where is it? I think I've, I think I've fully explored this place, except for like underwater, which I'm not going to. Did I go this way? found a shovel. Kind of messed up. Someone with a hand placed these traps. I bet this is where the ranger is. Don't, don't blow me up. Don't blow me up. This is tense. On the stairs would be a really good place to hide a grenade because I wouldn't see it and then I would blow up. But he didn't do that, idiot. I have a disarming personality. Wow, am I good or what? Hi, Bright How Sanders. How did you get in here? And who the hell are you? Uh, I was sent by Colonel Husu. Chu sent you. Chu. This was my Who? mission. Is that is is that pronounced Chu? And the colonel was concerned. You missed your check-in. You can go back to Old Shu and tell him that the mission will be completed. I just need a couple more days. What's the holdup, if you don't What's mind my asking? Like? I caught one in the leg. I killed a dozen of those degenerates sneaking my way in, but one got a drop on me. I hold up here after I killed that one. They're too stupid to unlock the door, so I knew they'd figure whoever attacked had just taken off. I just need a day or two, then I'll take out Motor Runner myself. I even got his key to the maintenance wing. Situation's under control. Uh, let's see. I'm afraid your leg looks and smells like it's on the verge of infection. God damn it! I know. I'm just over here let's sniffing this guy's that, leg. Uh, are you trained as a doctor? Can you fix my leg? Um, I have a doctor's bag. What are you waiting for? I've got a high-value target to kill. Well, don't die. But I believe in you, but don't die. Hey, I finally get to pick a terminal. I think this is the first time I've done this all game. No, wait, I've done it once before. Let's see, let's guess. Wants. Oops, that's not wants. Wants. Two out of five, correct. Okay. Now we will remove our duds. He does have the stanky leg. He's, he's dancing it right now. Maybe he'll just do my job for me. That'd be fine. What was the word wants? I can't forget what that word was. A lot of dead removals here. You know, I think there's only one word left. <laughs> I think we got it. <laughs> Is it open? Oh! Oh! Hey, the gun. My 
definitely needs to be brighter. Can't even tell when it's on. Hey, wait, this is the room I came in in, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Huh. Anders, aren't you supposed to be killing the guy? All right, have fun. Hey, Doc. Guess I'll go kill the guy. I'm gonna do everything myself. I don't remember where the door was. Oh wait, yes I do. I stopped playing Wordle months ago, man. Got sick of that. Okay, this was where a bunch of bottle caps were. That's the entrance to the vault. Veronica, you should have done that faster. I'm just not even playing the game anymore with these fucking companions doing all my work. Marduk. GGG. That means good game game. Lore, lore, lore. Vincent Van Miller, maintenance chief. Water leak. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry to inform you that the small water leak that we detected a couple weeks ago appears to be more serious than we first thought. We are going to have to vent the pipes in that section to isolate the leak and stop the pressure from stressing the rest of the system. Unfortunately, this means that we are going to have to start rationing our water. My apologies to go, uh, go out to anyone currently residing in one of the affected areas. We'll be working to resolve the issue as soon as possible. Dinner? From Vincent to Jennifer. Hi, Jenny. It was great getting a chance to talk to you. I am glad to hear that things are going well for you. I'm curious if you'd like to meet me for dinner one day next week. I know we don't talk that often, but I feel like we really clicked last night. I hope you feel the same way. Looking forward to hearing from you soon, Vin. Re-dinner. From Jenny to Vincent. Hi there, Vinny. Last night was so much fun. I can't believe it took us this long to sit down and talk. Let's do that again very soon. Next time, maybe we can have breakfast together as well. XOXOXO, <laughs> Jen. From Vincent to William. Hey, buddy, thanks for the advice. Dinner went great last night, and I'm not sure I would have had been able to work up the guts to talk to her if you hadn't convinced me. I owe you big time. I know you've been pretty stressed with the water issues, so if you need a break for some rec time, let me know. Well, that was... that's nice. And I'm glad those two kids were found love together. And then probably died. Remember when I was gonna get a tour and then I couldn't because I, I gained karma from that? Because it was five o'clock. I'm still mad about that. I'm still upset about this. All right, this time let's just go straight for removing the duds. What, what duds? This one doesn't have the removal. This is very unlucky. I'm gonna have to actually play Wordle on this one. Here we go. I got a few of them out. Okay, so let's start with uh, one of these that's R-E-E-D. Okay! <laughs> All right! Easy! and things. Pencils. Mm. 
There's some good loot in here. Some good loot. There's a, there's a good loot. Excuse me, Veronica. Ah! 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 That scared me. I couldn't tell. I was not expecting someone to come out and shoot me. How come I all have silence guns in here? Oh, I'm, I'm being stupid. I need to pick up those guns so I can repair. Oh, wait, that's an SMG. Fuck. Where'd the other one go? Forty-four Magnum. Well, damn it. I thought someone else had the silenced pistol, but you can't use you can't use the SMG, can you? If to repair the <laughs> Pardon me for a second. Hang on, take a break. Pause. Yeah, you can't. Well that's useless to me. I don't want that. I have gained karma. I like when she does that. It's good when Veronica punches their heads off. R R. That stands for railroad. That's a reference to Fallout 4. That's the guy. That's the guy. Uh, help me, Veronica. Why is my... That was weird wasteland, wasn't it? I'm confused. I don't understand what Weird Wasteland is telling me. This chainsaw is too heavy, but it's valuable. Hey, Veronica. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? <laughs> she immediately equips the chainsaw. Have fun, Veronica. I don't understand what Weird Wasteland just did. I'm so confused. His dogs had names. I killed Donnie and Marie. Oh, man. Oh, man. What's a reverse pulse cleaner? Doesn't weigh anything. I'll take it. This place, I don't remember. There we go. Easy. No, the store's activated elsewhere. Yeah. There's a new chef in town. Hey, Doc. Thanks for the help back at Vault 3. I couldn't have gotten out of there without the assist. That's helpful. Alright, let's fast travel. Camp McCarran is where they gave me this mission, right? I don't remember. Am I inside it or outside it? I'm outside it. Who was I supposed to turn this bounty into?
I think my Annabelle did finally click in because I just got like really frail and confused. So like, what am I, what am I doing? I can't tell. But somebody told me I'm supposed to turn bounties into somebody else. Not, not Shu, but uh, what is this hallway? This is weird. Why did I go down here? Boyd's in there with the prisoner right now. Boy, oh yeah, I was supposed to deal with that. I forgot about that. Um, bum, bum. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so you want me to, to, to save the guy? I don't remember where anybody was. Are you somebody? You're a trooper. Maybe maybe he was downstairs. I don't remember going upstairs before, so let's try downstairs. There Sanders he is. showed up here not too long ago. I'm told you're the one who got him out of the vault. Yeah. Can't tell you how relieved I am. Sending him on that mission was a mistake. Mm. He didn't have a choice. The fiends were a That's growing probably threat. probably true, but I wonder if I should have taken a different strategy entirely. Although my options were certainly limited with most of our forces tied up garrisoning this place. Regardless, what you did for Anders isn't something he or any of us around here take lightly. We're all glad to have him back. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye. Where's the guy I turned Mounties in? This way? You're new. I'm Angela. Williams. Were you just looking around, or...? Need help with anything? You mean, give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. Just like me! I can't say. We're not supposed to talk about the research. Not the details. If you're interested, I'm sure he'd see you. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. If you need anything, I'm almost always in the lab. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? <laughs> yeah, that's Wonderful. right. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Uh, uh I regret my lie. I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water, and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. A realist. We have that in common. A year ago, I'd have said the same. But what if I was to tell you that the wasteland can yield an endless bounty, and that the secret may lie a mere few miles from where we stand? We need only reach out and take it, and for that, I need you. Tell me more. Good. I thought I sensed the kindred soul in you, beneath the wasteland veneer. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Hmm. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. This sounds sus. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise sounds you the OSI uh... will see that you are generously Am I going to be killed by plant monsters? Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment. We're just going to do this under the table, he says. Most typically contain a server room on a lower level where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? <sighs> My intelligence Download is all 10, the I understand. On the central server to your pip boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? 
Uh, anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your pip boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. Goodbye. Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. See, when he says I'm not gonna need the luck, I definitely know I'm walking into some horrible, monstrous place. Did Dr. Hildern, this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Uh, yes, he asked me to get some data I from Vault 22. I know that, but you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual, not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? No, Hildren didn't mention anybody else. But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Of course. Anything. I hear the food around here is pretty bad. The director? He's... very well spoken and... Knowledgeable. Mm, he seems focused on results, He's maybe not, not so much call people. Warm. Unless he wants something from you. And even then, it's kind of a cold warm. Most of the time, I focus on the science and try to forget him. He doesn't get mixed up in any actual work, though he tells people that he does. So, Dr. Hilden takes credit for your work? He sure does. Everyone knows it. I've just got to endure this job until the project is finished. But abandoning Keeley, he crossed a line. Taking credit for other people's work is one thing. Sending people to die in the waste is another. If Hildren tries to recruit any more mercs, I'm gonna warn them. What can he do to me? I'm the only one who can run this lab. I hear the food around here is pretty bad. It's foul to tell the truth. Most people try to get what they can from the outside, even if it's just a smuggled candy bar now and then. Contreras is a genius. He can find almost anything you'd want. Takes caps to get him motivated, though. He won't do a thing for free. Can you tell me anything else about Keely's Keely? brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. She's just pretending. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Is that my character breathing? I thought it was like you know scientific equipment or something. Exactly how old is Keely? I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war. The Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. So, I'm guessing pretty old. 200 years? Maybe more. How do Keely and Hildur like get along? Like a Roman and a Deathclaw, though I'm not sure which would be which. Bad analogy, maybe. They're both Deathclaws in their way. Keely hates Hildur. She says he's more politician than scientist, and gets in the way of true discovery. And Hildur hates Keely because... well... Because every time they meet, she makes him look like an ass. In front of important people, usually. Maybe he should stop being an ass. Okay. Right. Stay safe. Okay. That's definitely... That's definitely this thing and not me breathing. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was looking for the bounty guy. Even the stupid NCR is... Maybe he's at uh, the concourse. Or maybe he's this way. Hey, you got a second? What is it? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. Is now the time, but Veronica? I just recently, picked up like 20 quests. I haven't understood where we went wrong or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. Um, I'll take you back there first chance I get. Great, thanks, thank you. 
I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you. Seriously. Well, thanks for that. What is it? You... Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. No, oh, I want bounty. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his Veronica's habits. not going to get mad at our me if I don't get there for a while, is she? I hope not, because I want to do these quests. <sighs> Where should I start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Goodbye. Later. Gentlemen. This better say ladies. Ladies. Inaccessible. Where's the fucking bounty guy? I want bounty. I want money. Give me money. Lots of money. Money, money, money. Do you have money? Oh, you're the, you're the guy. News, you're the you guy. Take it up with the colonel. If it's good news, it better involve some dead fiends. Back of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every stim, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this fucked up earth. I don't think you want to take a psychoactive three enema. I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Yeah, it does. Good. That's damn good. I figure it's about time we got lucky out here, so maybe you can snuff one of these maniacs. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. He's fast and he's brutal. Kill about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. Oh, he's from Camp Golf. And finally, Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac. Whoa, what about motor damn good guy? Chef, if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men and plenty of mercs too. You go no, after them, not mercs. any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? Uh, all of them. Violet it is. Wish I could give you more advice on how to bring her down, but we know less about her than the other two. Just watch out for the dogs. She raises them herself. Might as well be their mother and never leave her side. Where can I find her? Good question. Fiend territory is southeast of here, but they range all over the area. None of them stays in any one place for long. Anything else? One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no Aww. decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. Why you gotta you make it complicated like that? Looks like, like a that. tomato. People will be doubting, and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you, and don't get careless. Right. 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 Uh, well, crap. That was the guy I was looking for, but I don't think he has a bounty for me for the other guy. Plus, I, I definitely shot motor or whatever in the face. Little Buster. Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Little well, you're Buster. Too late. I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Dotri owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. Are you supposed to be famous or something? Well, shit. Feel free to <laughs> stick a knife in the old ego. Thought I made a name for myself around here. Guess that's as good a reason as any to quit this stinking trade. No glory. No easy money, no women, and no glory. Shit. I'd settle just for the women. Little Buster Horny. Um, why does Dachio you because caps? Because I killed a couple of marks for him, that's why. You ever hear of Jackson? Or Night Terror? No. Of course you didn't, because they crossed paths with <laughs> Little Buster. Bam. Dead. Finished. I love Over. little Buster. See, somebody gives me a job, I do it. Maybe I complain a little here and there, but my shit gets done. How long have you been a bounty hunter? Oh, shit, I don't know. Gotta be at least a month. Longer than I last <laughs> in most jobs. Oh, yeah, a lot. Like before I was a bounty hunter, I worked as a caravan guard. You'd think that was a cakewalk, right? Wrong. 
crazy bastards expected me to wake up at dawn. Forget it. It's about two hours after this guy hits the sack. And I, I love little Buster. 10, 12 hours of sleep to do my job. Price of excellence. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? Simple. Gonna make myself some easy money. I got a plan. Once I get my cash from Daughtry, I'm going to head on over to Gamora and win big at cards. Mm -hmm. There's not as many people playing at Gamora, so that means I've got better odds of winning big. I got this figured out. I see. Hey, yeah. Next time you see me, maybe I'll be rolling in a shitload of caps, right? Good luck, little buster. I hope you I hope you make your fortune. Who's this guy? Hey. Hey. I'm heading to Gamora next time I get some time off. Everybody loves Gamora. Nobody ever shuts up about Gamora. More Gamora, Gamora. What about S S Sodom? Nobody ever talks about. No, never mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that train of thought right there. Nobody ever talks about Sodomy. I think I have a bunch of quests to do, and I forgot what all of them are. I think it's probably a good time to stop playing the game, actually. My edible's definitely kicking in. <laughs> Happy 420, everybody. I'll stream some more later this week. Probably tomorrow, maybe... Maybe not. Maybe Friday. I don't know. I don't know. I'll be back. Stay tuned. But don't stay tuned. Find something else to watch. Because I'm not going to be here anymore. Goodbye.